Hi, welcome to Nudim CU tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can use the Node MCU or D1 Mini ESP8266 to control stepper motor 28BYJ48 over the Wi Fi. When I touch it counterclockwise, the motor rotates in counterclockwise, and I can stop it. I can go to clockwise now, or without stopping, I can jump to the other direction. That's control the motor as you can see it is responding very well let's go to the next direction you can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash arduino let's get started with this there are some applications that you need to control this motor using your mobile device or maybe from your browser or tablet over ESP8266, either D1 Mini or this Node MCU, doesn't matter whichever node. I've written the code for this so you can easily control and use this motor, either send it in uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, start or stop it. I've seen a lot of interest in controlling these motors either with Arduino Uno or other Arduino and also over the Wi-Fi or your mobile devices. I have introduction on how to use this module, base introduction to controlling this module. That's one of the best view video on the web. The link for that is below this video in the, in the description and I'm not going to explain how this motor works, how the stepper motor works, because I have already explained it. I have a video how to control the speed of this uh, using potentiometer. Another video how to control this motor using three push button clockwise, counterclockwise, and stop. I have a video where you can control this with two push button, and you have to press CW continuously to keep it running, or CCW continuously to keep it running. I will also write a lot of different codes related to this. Make sure to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos. Now let me show you the wiring. In one, in two, in three, and in four, it starts from this gray, purple, blue, and green. And here it has been connected here to pin 1, 2, 3, and 4. So D1, D2, D3, and 4. Same way when you are connecting it with D1 mini, it is connected to D1, D2, D3, D4. Exactly the same wire, the same color. So this module or this module doesn't matter. All of them they have D1, D2, D3, D4. So you will connect them accordingly. And here's D1, D2, D3, D4 as well. So, and then you will connect your motor here. The motor is connected. And then I have these two wires for power. On this side, I'm going to connect the negative. Positive is on this side. I'm using red for positive, so I don't make mistake. And this is for external power. If you are using the D1 Mini, as you can see, D1 Mini has here 5 volts and ground. This, this pin is ground and this is 5 volts, so connected to here. We have two pin available and this is connected in here. If you're using this module, this type, here is 5 volts uh, ground and 5 volts. Have for this because it doesn't have 5 volts out, it has just input for 5 volts, so you cannot connect it. You have to connect external 5 volts for these two modules. If you need the wiring diagram for this, it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. The first thing that you need to prepare is your Arduino for ESP8266. I have a separate video explaining that, but here I can tell you quickly. I will provide you the link, click on File, Preferences, and then Additional Board Managers URL. Click here, and then paste the, the link that I provided. I will provide you this one, so you copy and paste it here. Once you paste it, you click OK, and then click OK. 
Now this, uh, this link will make Arduino to know where to look for the board. Then click on Tools, Board, and then Board Manager. Once you're able to type, type ESP8266. Then you will see this ESP8266 by ESP8266 community. And if you have not installed it, in my case it is installed and there is a remove button. In your case, if you have not installed it, you will see here install button, click on it and wait until the bar graph finishes and then close. And you have to select your board before using it. Click on tools, boards, and here there are tons of other boards, but the one that we are using will be generic ESP8266 module. Select this, and the rest of the settings should be automatic. And then you have to select, of course, the right port. If you don't know what is the port that you are using, on the start menu, right click, go to device manager or any other way that you have, go to device manager and under the port collapse it and you will see serial USB serial maybe you will see some different number but this is a chip for USB CH340 that's COM11 and that's why I've selected here and the COM11 If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the thumb up button for this video. Now let me explain the code. These modules, they all, when we are using it for this purpose, will be defined as a web server. When they are a web server, they generate this page when we upload the code. All the text, everything that you see here is coming from that module. Now let me explain the code. If I click on File, Examples, and scroll down until I see ESP8266 web server and then advanced web, web server. This is the code that I've taken and heavily modified it. And this, these are the pin mapping for uh, Node MCU. It will work for these boards if you select them. But if you select D1 Mini and here board, here it says Lilon D1 Mini, then you have to comment this out like this. Right click and then comment it. So this will be disabled, otherwise, you will get error. And here, because I'm using, I've selected D1 Mini and I forgot to comment this, you will get this error and it says, and it says that these values have already been defined. So I've increased the text, you cannot see it. And we have defined here four pens, D1, D2, D3, and 4, for pen 1, 2, and 3, and 4 of this module. And make sure you can change it to any other value that you want, but make sure not to use pen D7, because this D7 or pen 13 is used by the board with the LED, and it is interrupting the motor, and it will not work. This line in this uh, portion line 103 you will type the SSID for your router make sure to respect the lowercase and uppercase otherwise it will not work and then type your password for your router I'm not worried if you know the password because it, this is just a router not connected to the internet and I will turn it off after this recording if you need full explanation of all of this code it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com where you can purchase and learn Arduino Now let me demonstrate it. First, you need to open the serial monitor by clicking here on the right side, and this menu will pop up. At the bottom, make sure that you have selected on the right side, lower corner, it must be 115,200, otherwise you will not be able to see anything. Then we will press this reset button, or if you have this node uh, D1 mini, you will press this button this one so here i'm pressing that reset button don't worry about this and here is the ip address 
copy this right click and copy or press ctrl c after that go to on your wi-fi and click and make sure your computer or laptop is connected to the same ssid as your node mcu or d1 mini you see this is robojax this is also connected to robojax so now we can access it here i've opened my browser i'm just pasting the address 192.168.1.100 and press enter and this is the page that you are seeing now i'm clicking clockwise and as you can see counterclockwise and as you can see it is rotating in counterclockwise clockwise direction and we see here a text also telling us and if i stop it it will stop i can go to clockwise rotation this is by the way the maximum speed if you need to know how to control the speed of this with potentiometer or other means there is a video the link is below this video so i can go directly from clockwise to counterclockwise and it responds perfectly in some cases when you when you press this reset button and you don't see the information on the screen in here then disconnect this disconnect all the wires press it and this will now show you the IP address so 192.168.1.103 and then connect this I'm going to 192.168.1.103 which is from this module now I'm clicking it works perfectly and responds very, very well so this module works the same way if you have smaller or larger module does not matter all of these will work exactly the same I've supplied here external 5 volts this is my from external 5 volts and if you face problem at the beginning connect the power make sure this has like about 20 30 seconds and then connect the wires i'm testing it using my mobile phone first make sure that this is connected to the same ssid as this device this was connected to robojax and as you can see this is connected to robojax and here i've type 192.168.1.103 and this screen is now coming from this module let's control the motor as you can see it is responding very well let's go to the next direction stop it go this way stop it and this way so perfectly responding Thank you for watching this was how to control this 28 byj48 stepper motor with a node mcu d1 mini esp g266 if you learned something and found this useful please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of youtube if you have comment or question post it at the comment section below i try to answer and reply if you want to get updates of my upcoming videos make sure to subscribe and now i'm testing it using the mobile phone make sure that you're connected to the same ssid as this one so now i have to connect to robojax it is getting connected now the connection happened now that my mobile is now my mobile phone is connected
If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description.